and how do we move forward in positive ways to talk about those expectations and what changes need to be made on both sides of the law enforcement aisle, whether it's uh, perceptions of the prosecutor's office as well as perceptions of law enforcement. There were some other specific questions for uh, the candidates for sheriff and for prosecutor, but if you listened closely, most of their answers integrated those questions because some of those questions were rather repetitive. Again, I encourage you, if you didn't get your specific question asked, please sit down. And also keep in mind, none of these folks running for office knew questions ahead of time. They kind of had to think on their feet and decide what they were going to come out with. So I give them all a great deal of credit. As Jim Pressel said, again, I want to thank everybody that made the determination with their time, their heart, their effort, their family time that they gave up, their money to run for office, regardless of whether we plan on voting with them, regardless of whether we agree with them. We need to thank them, to everyone who thanked up, to uh, showed up to support the candidates, for all of you that are listening in WKBI land or may watch this on YouTube. Thank you for your time and effort. Good night, be safe driving home. WKBI, thank you. Leader, thank you. Denny and the City of Knox, thank you.